In the old days, you knew that you could not use your camera without any film. That's right, that pricey little cylinder that contained the film was the heart of your camera. This film is a flexible plastic material that is designed with chemicals that are sensitive to light. When you hit the shutter button, the camera would allow light to hit the film and cause reactions to take place with the chemicals on the film. This would then store the image. That is how film cameras worked. These days we have digital cameras. And while they might look similar to film cameras in terms of appearance, they function differently. On a very basic level, when you press the shutter button, a digital camera works by operating a mechanism called a shutter that then lets light through a hole that is in the lens, also called the aperture, onto a light sensitive medium called a sensor. This sensor is digital and absorbs the light, then it captures the image. The light detecting medium can be one of two types, a complementary metal oxide semiconductor or CMOS image sensor or a charged coupled device but that is not very important, they both serve the same function. In the most layman of terms, the image sensor converts all the light or picture from the lens into millions of pixels. The sensor measures color and brightness variations in the pixels and stores them as a number. That means that the picture coming out of your digital camera is a very long string of numbers that describe all the pixels that the image contains. And while film images were essentially analog, the beauty of images from a digital camera is that they are digital. You can upload them onto your computer and into programs like Adobe Lightroom or Photoshop to manipulate them. And by doing this, the program is essentially just changing and adjusting that long string of numbers we mentioned earlier that represent each and every pixel in the image. So, to sum up, a digital camera works by letting light through a lens that focuses light rays onto the image sensor that is exposed by a shutter mechanism at the press of the shutter button. The sensor then does a whole lot of image processing to convert those light rays into usable digital information that is then presented to us in the form of a digital image. Thanks for listening and tune in to the next lesson where we focus on other fundamental aspects of digital photography.